Okay, so this is a quick video tutorial on how to import CSV data uh, into uh, phpMyAdmin for being able to run MySQL queries. So today I'm going to be pulling some information from lock5stat.com. Uh, they've got a lot of different uh, data sets that we can explore. Uh, so today I'm going to look at this CARS 2020 database and see if I can get it uh, imported into MySQL so that we can do some fun uh, analysis on it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the CSV file. Uh, that's for comma separated values. Uh, and if we open this up, you can see that it has just a lot of different data about various cars uh, and each uh, value is separated with a comma. One of the important things to note is that the first entry is not actual uh, data uh, in the table itself, but rather the field names. Uh, and we want to make a special note of that because we'll need to take that into account when we go to import this into phpMyAdmin. Uh, and so here on phpMyAdmin, uh, if we click on the 399 uh, database, uh, we can import uh, our data here. To do that, uh, we're going to come over here and click the Import button. And we'll go Choose File. And we're going to select that cars2020.csv. Uh, as we scroll down, uh, we want to just check, check a couple of different things. Uh, we'll see that columns are separated with comma. Uh, that's correct. Uh, and we also want to look at this where it says the first line of the file contains the table column names. Uh, that's really important because uh, we want to ignore that first line and actually make those the column names. So if we click go, okay, we should see that it was able to import everything. Uh, and if we click on this table now, uh, we should see that we've got lots of data in here. Now the one thing that this is missing uh, is an index, uh, and so we'll want to go ahead and create that. The way that we can do that, uh, you see here it says that current selection does not contain a unique column. Uh, and so if we go over to structure uh, and we scroll down, we can add one column, uh, and I'm going to create this column at the beginning of the table. And I'm gonna call this column ID. Uh, it'll be type integer, and we'll give it six uh, length, so that would go up to 999,999, uh, which should be pretty good. We're going to change index to primary, uh, and this all looks good, so we can click go, uh, and we want it to auto increment. And so if we click save, okay, we should now have an entire table that's all set up for us. If we click on browse, uh, we can see that we've got lots of data here. Uh, it did duplicate that first uh, row here as the the header names but that's okay we can go ahead and click delete from that and now we've got all of our data so we can see in total how many we have so we have 111 and so we can scroll through that and now we can do all sorts of searches and analysis on this data to find out some interesting stats for all these cars and that's it